Yeah, you asked me to investigate updates tonight on a Valley Lemonade stand that was shut down. We heard from so many of our viewers after a homeowners association put a stop to a seven-year-old's dream to raise money for the homeless. But after our story aired, there was a change of heart. Pink lemonade ice cubes. It's not hard to tell that Megan Jensen's favorite color is pink. So naturally, she planned to sell pink lemonade at her pink dream stand in front of her house near Desert Inn and Town Center. She wanted to give some of her profits to a good cause. 10% of the money is going to go to our church for so um, some homeless people that don't have any food can at least buy a little bit of food. But Megan's mom, Kathy, says their idea was short-lived after they posted a flyer advertising their makeshift business in the community. Right at grand opening time, the president of HOA came over and said, you're not allowed to do this. While the Maine Homeowners Association, Summerlin South, didn't mind Megan setting up shop, it was the president of the Jensen Sub Association, Bella Veranda, who had a problem. Kathy says the president mentioned they needed a permit. That's when the Jensen's emailed Action News. But after our story aired, Kathy says she got a call from Summerlin South, who gave them the go-ahead again. She then reached out to Bella Veranda, who finally gave their blessing. So, thanks to Channel 13 for bringing it to light and um, we're able to open our lemonade stand again. The dollar bills may be coming in, but this little entrepreneur already knows the rules she needs to follow. We have to just like do it one day a week now. Now nationwide, officials are cracking down on this quick way for kids to make some cash. The main concerns are health and safety, but the Jensen's are glad that their HOA changed its mind. We want to thank Kathy for emailing us. If you have something you'd like us to look into, send an email to 13investigates at ktnb.com and be sure to include your phone number so we can get a hold of you.